Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this icon. Let's open a new document. Press the Ctrl and R keys on your keyboard to show the rulers. Or go to Preferences and select the Show Hide Rulers option from here instead. Click on the left ruler, hold and drag it to create a guide. Let's swap the fill and the stroke. Set the stroke to none and leave the fill as it is. Now select the rectangle tool. Click on the guide and while you are holding down the Alt key, draw a long and narrow rectangle. Switch to the direct selection tool and select the two bottom anchor points. Next, open the free transform tool or press the letter E on your keyboard instead. And select the Perspective Distort tool. Now click on one of the bottom anchor points and drag it out to create a wider bottom edge. Next, select the Polygon tool. Now click on the artboard, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the down arrow key on your keyboard a few times to reduce the number of sides to 3. Let's copy this shape and scale it down. And like we did before, switch to the direct selection tool, select the two bottom anchor points, choose the perspective distort tool and make the lower edge wider. Select the shape and then go to Object, Envelope, Distort and choose Make with Warp. Set the style to Arc. Use the vertical position and adjust the bend to your liking. Now rotate it. Bring it down here and adjust the rotation and position. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point and bring it down to align with the guide. Now adjust the handles to create a shape similar to this one. Select this object and then go to Object and choose Expand. Let's bring this triangle down. Select these two shapes, go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Next press the letter O for the Reflect tool and while you are holding down the Alt key, click on this intersection to set the reflection point. Be sure the axis is set to the vertical position and then click Copy. Switch to the Ellipse tool and draw a circle. Let's duplicate it and scale it down. Select both circles, go to Pathfinder and choose Minus Front. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select these two anchor points and move them up. If you wish, adjust the width like we did before. Choose the Perspective Distort tool and bring these two anchor points closer. Next, switch to the Rectangle tool, click on this guide and draw a long and narrow rectangle. Switch to the Direct Selection tool and round the corners. Now select everything, go to Pathfinder and choose Unite to create a single shape. If you wish, select these two corner anchor points and round them. Let's change the fill to blue. Now resize it and hide this guide. Next, switch to the ellipse tool, pick a lighter shade of blue and draw a big circle. Select this shape, right click, choose Arrange and bring to front. Open the sublayers of layer 1. Let's scale this shape up and move it here. Now select this anchor and the big circle. 
click on the circle again to mark it as a key object and then align it horizontally and vertically to the center. Now we will create a long shadow. Select the anchor and create a copy. Let's change the fill of the copied anchor to white. Now go to layers, lock the layer with the white anchor and turn off its visibility. Select the bottom anchor and create a copy. Select both shapes and then double click on the blend tool. Change the spacing to specified distance and set the value to 1 pixel. Now click on the first shape to select it and then click on the second shape to apply the blend. Let's switch to the selection tool. We can turn on the layer with the white shape and unlock it. Open this blend sublayer and select the top shape. Now we can move it to change the shadow's direction. Or scale it down for a different effect. Let's undo it. Now select the layer with the big circle and paste it to the top. Finally select everything and then press the Ctrl and number 7 keys on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.